the lower Murray uh, is basically the Murray uh, downstream of about Wentworth. So it's the last reach of the Murray, flows mainly through South Australia before it runs into the sea. And you know, the poor old South Australians are the, the recipients of all the problems that the rest of the basin creates. It's of interest to me because there's one museum specimen of a trout cod that came from South Australia and so there's always been an argument, was that a vagrant, was that a stray or were they down there? And I suppose uh, this is one of the things where I changed my point of view uh, during the course of the project because I thought, well, basically the central Murray uh, around Barma or Chuka that the species was uncommon below there. And I did not collect uh, any oral history in South Australia, but I did find quite a number of newspaper articles. And one thing of interest uh, was uh, the work of uh, Wilhelm Blandowski, who camped uh, just downstream of Mildura in 1857 and, and documented uh, a lot of records of native fish in that area. And he documented the trout cod were found there. In fact, he did a drawing of one. So there was all these snippets of, of information indicating what was in the Lower Murray. We, we knew that golden perch, silver perch, Murray cod and catfish had been abundant. But what was the status of three other fish? They were trout cod, Macquarie perch and blackfish. Uh, in terms of trout cod, several newspaper articles were a revelation. Uh, one was one written by a professional fisherman who lived at Blanchetown and he specifically identified rock cod as being present but rare in that part of the Murray. Uh, and he gave a good phys physical description. So there's little doubt that trout cod were rare in the lower reaches of the lower Murray in South Australia. Then I came across a newspaper article written by a professional fisherman that said he regularly had caught trout cod in the Lake Victoria area. So that's just downstream of Wentworth. And actually provided a large amount of detail about them including internal differences between trout cod and Murray cod that even, the, even today science is unaware of. So you would infer therefore that they must have been reasonably common in that area. And the final piece of the jigsaw was a newspaper article, a feature article I found written on trout cod by David Steed in 1929. And he talks about the, the, the lower Murray in the Wentworth area of trout cod having been abundant in certain stretches of the river there. So the picture that emerged was uh, along the length of the Murray, trout cod had been uh, abundant up in the lower reaches of the Indi River, through the Albury area, Yarrawonga down to Barma, and then the species tapered off but was patchily abundant in the faster reaches of the river, all the way down to the top of South Australia. So we actually ended up with a very uh, detailed picture of the distribution of trout cod. Macquarie perch, there's two museum specimens from South Australia, that's still an unanswered issue. I've got anecdotes from professional fishermen that trout co uh, Macquarie perch had been regularly taken by professional fishermen again in the upper reaches in South Australia. Um, and blackfish, there's a few snippets indicating that they might have been once common. The Murray cod may be caught from one quarter of an inch in length to over 100 pounds in weight. A young German, an assistant at a wool washing establishment about five miles from here, was in a habit of bathing off the stage, and one day while having his usual dip, sat on the stage with his feet swaying to and fro in the water, when a cod seized his foot, and at the same time nearly forced him off the stage into the water, the German having his foot severely scarred by the teeth of the cod. Mr S McIntosh, Inspector of Fisheries, has furnished the following report to the Chief Inspector of Fisheries, Mr T Duffield, on the subject of English carp in the River Murray. I'm not aware when the first consignment of golden carp was liberated into inland waters. Ten years ago, there was said to have been a few seen on the river flats near Murray Bridge. Seven years ago, not more than four or five of the fishermen along the river claim to be acquainted with them. Today they abound in myriads.
During the last year, I have seen thousands of these fish. This is the head of probably the largest cod ever taken in South Australian waters of the River Murray. The director of the Adelaide Museum, Mr H.M. Hale, told members of the South Australian Fish Protection and Anglers Association at the annual meeting at the Exchange Hotel in Adelaide. Mr Hale displayed the head of a Murray cod, which made members gasp in astonishment. He estimated that the fish must have measured six to eight feet long. The president of the association, Mr E.G. Saunders, suggested that the fish would possibly have weighed 300 pounds and might have been over 100 years old. The interesting thing is within South Australia, I think there's a lot more research that needs to be done to answer the questions on, the, on those three species to give a more detailed picture. So South Australia is uh, an incomplete story and an interesting story.